Hi everyone, welcome back. Ashala here bringing you Soul Sampler number 103 insights for this week, August 13th to the 20th. We have a new moon in the sign of Aquarius coming up on the 16th. Let's see how that's going to affect us this week. I have some ideas about it, but I wanna see what the cards say. And we've got a lot of fierce, heated energy on the planet right now and I want to have a look at that as well. So let's see what spirit has in store for all of us this week. So here we go starting with our own personality, our ego, what we're bringing to the table this week. We've got seven of wands which is a lot about hanging in there, holding the line. Um, it's you know the sevens are working on yourself, staying in your own lane. And this has to do with sustaining your energy. Uh, you know, not pushing too hard, but not slacking either. So hold the line. This card is also known as Valor in some decks. So it's a time of honor and valor this week. And in the area of security, resources, finances, we have a communication card. We have messages, we have, uh, you know, more information coming about what to do with our resources. So I feel like we had this a few weeks back and I'm seeing it again. Um, some really great strategies being brought to the table. Uh, you may want to study some of those strategies, be it in the realm of alternative currency, crypto, um, yeah, whatever it is that you're investing in or moving your money around, it feels like there's some really great insights that you can access on the internet this week to make some decisions, informed decisions. Beautiful strength card in the area of ideas. Um, so online resources, a really great week. It's kind of like the stars are in our favor for doing exploration on the internet. So we've had a few weeks where the guides have cautioned us to step back a bit and not be on the internet as much. This week it looks very, very strong energetically. Um, now in the area of home, well look at this. First of all, I wanna say we've got a run of three major arcana in a row, Magician, Strength, and the Wheel of Fortune. So activation, clearing. We've talked about clearing, energetic clearing at home. It's actually come up over the last few weeks and it's coming up again. So something really big shifting around what your home base is about. So you may be contemplating moving or making a really big change in your home. Let's see how that's aspected on the other side. Yeah. It is a little bit of, uh, you know, exploration. This is the pioneer card. It's the card where we we go out and try new things. So there could be looking at other options of home base. So this could even be having a second home base. And I know people say, well, you know, I can't afford to have two home bases, but sometimes that second home base can be where you go and stay and visit with someone for part of the year and they can return and come and stay with you for part of the year. That sort of arrangement, those sorts of energies are really activating right now. So there might be some talk about visiting and spending extended time visiting with other people in your circle of community. Interesting that, you know, this new moon is in Aquarius, which is about our community. It's about knowing who our people are and some of the people you may be ready to let go, walk away for a while, create some space with. And some friends, you know, it's this is a great week to reconnect and say, gosh, you know, I really want us to stay close. So it's almost like you're in the old days, you know, we used to have an address book and sometimes you go through, clear out some of the names, but also highlight some of the people that you want to reconnect with that you haven't spoken to in a while. This is a really great week for that, that really good 
energy around communication, the house of Gemini with the strength card there, king of cups. So reaching out and connecting with people because we all are in need of feeling like we belong this week. There's a real sense of where's my, where's my community? Where do I belong? And if you're feeling like you don't have that, it's very likely that a lot of other people are feeling the same way. So if you reach out to them and say, you know what, you are one of the people that I feel really connected to and I wanna stay close. Even though we don't talk that often, I just want you to know that I consider you one of my close community. This is a good week for that. You know, back in the old days, remember those old days when we used to write letters and this would be a great week to do that sort of connecting. We don't, we don't really do that anymore. We don't sit down and write letters to people that we haven't spoken to in quite a while. So we write emails, we might send messages, but there's something about making it a little bit more intentional this week. Relationship. So there could be a lot of shifting in personal relationships. And you know, you may reach out to someone just at the right moment, because I feel like a lot of people are making big decisions right now about changing relationship. So I'm not saying that people are splitting up suddenly. What I'm saying is people who have been questioning for long periods of time are making big choices this week about are they going to recommit and put more effort into working on uh, you know salvaging a marriage or healing a relationship or are they feeling like they need to start taking steps to distance themselves so this kind of contemplation is happening this week and again it's a really great time to if you are looking for support and going through something like this connect with with your dear old friends that you may not have been in touch with for a little while uh, it feels like we're going to be able to hold space in a good way for each other this week. Um, interesting. We've got the King of Cups and the Emperor. The Emperor in the house of Scorpio. So this to me feels like the system. And the system being, you know, the military industrial complex that is literally fading before our eyes it's it's relevance it's power um and as it fades of course it goes through some really extreme i want to say projection so this week we see uh you know in some ways i'm hearing recapitulation we're seeing energies falling and extreme measures trying to grasp for power so we see those those two extremes um page of wands in the area of sagittarius so sagittarius exploration travel adventure expansion page of wands is an activator card it's like childhood innocence that's just like sees the moment so this also feels to me like it is related to that the global heat that we're all going through and you know interestingly i had a little bit of a fever myself this week and i was really contemplating how our body goes through these heat waves to clear and sometimes even to activate healing so I mean, there's so many different versions about what's going on with the temperatures, with the fires around the planet. And I'm going to, at some point on my Rumble channel, speak to some people that whose opinions I really value on this topic. But let's suffice to say at this moment that I believe there's a lot of influences uh, kind of converging all at the same time. It's a bit of a perfect storm. And yet, from a higher perspective, I get that there's some kind of intelligence. There's something happening 
for a reason. Gaia is doing a cleanse and even the beings that manipulate intentionally, uh, you know, who are power dominant controllers, they are fulfilling a role just like parasites in the body fulfill a role of cleansing and clearing, you know, waste material. So it's about acknowledging that a small amount of cleansing, and I know this isn't a small amount, it's a huge amount, but sometimes there has to be a kind of healing crisis. And especially with this fiery page of wands in the area of like, you know, Sagittarius is kind of like global events. So it's not saying cool it. Last week it was saying cool it. This week it's saying activate. So some, something is sparking a cleansing process. Okay. And wow. Ultimately, this week is a fantastic week for making progress in the material realm. So we're back over here to this Taurus uh, resources, you know, investments, also making money. Um, yeah, applying yourself to business. This is a really good productive business week. And ooh, in the area of Aquarius, which is our friends, our networks, interesting that that new moon is coming into this this house and it is really looking fatigued let's see you see that character can you see he's tired he's carrying all those wands so again this energy of um sharing the burdens this week sharing the burdens with people that we care about so you know when you're when you're connecting with people it's really beautiful to make an effort to keep it balanced so it's not one person sharing all their burdens and burdening the other person because it's like we're all kind of tired this week we're all sort of energetically overwhelmed but we can share some burdens we can help each other you know this is a great week for you help me do this i'll help you do that that's this is like ultimately the best week maybe of the whole year for that so exchanges fantastic and seven of pentacles is here in the house of uh, pisces which is our deep subconscious so again look at this two number sevens together so this is a again an, a holding holding the line being patient trusting your intuition trusting your guidance you know we can be very hard on ourselves emotionally this king of cups over here in virgo we can be very very hard on ourselves around where we've ended up i had an interesting statement came through a reading this week where um the the person's guides said well you're painted into a corner but we want you there and they said because that corner is where the little detour path is that you need to go on so because we've got you painted into that corner you're exactly where you need to be to find the path the little secret path which is a detour so there's something about acknowledging being guided and being patient with spirit if it doesn't appear that the path or if it does appear that you're painted into the corner and you don't see the path that the spirit is trying to show you just give it another week because it does feel like within a week i mean we've got the magician often refers to a week we've got seven of wands is often connected to seven days and then we have this seven of pentacles as well so there's an energy of one week of being patient to see results and also to continue to draw towards us look at this the other message that came in this week that was kind of interesting was about 
caring for ourselves and attracting all the abundance and sometimes you know if you're gifted with things that you think well i can't really use that somebody else could use it better than me maybe you are the person that's going to receive the gift and pass it along so again that energy this week of if you receive something it's okay to just receive it and hold it for someone else and I don't know why that's important, but the guides are saying that's an important message for us. Yeah, we've got one more number seven and this devil card here. So three sevens are definitely lucky. Again, it is a luck that is not always appears. It doesn't always appear on the surface to be lucky. So that analogy of being painted in the corner and you're like, spirit, why have you painted me in the corner? And then you realize, oh, that corner is my exit. That's the way that I navigate around what's going on out in the world. The devil card. So a lot of outer confusion, drama, fear, projection and three number sevens telling us to hold on and notice how spirit is guiding us. 